Hey gang, quick announcement for today's episode. March 18th today actually marks our one year anniversary since our very first Shining Hunting episode. So to celebrate, I actually recorded a two part series alongside today's video. So if you enjoy the series, you're in luck because you're actually gonna have three videos coming out this week alone. So that's definitely exciting, but I can't lie. This is actually helping me kill two birds with one stone. I noticed when I released episode 16, I had recorded that over two months prior to the time I actually published it. So I would definitely like to be releasing these a lot closer to when they're actually recorded. So moving forward, I am aiming to release the Shining Hunting episode the same week that Infinity Conquest goes live every season. I would also like the viewer submissions for that episode to be in by that Sunday leading into that week. That'll just give me time to get them edited in for the video. And speaking of your submissions, we definitely have some more great ones for today. They will be in at the end of the video, so definitely stick around for that. But yeah, like I said, we just got the border select effect, and you know, I recorded this video and the two-part celebration for anniversary prior to that coming out. And it's like, I, I don't like that. I want the videos to be released just about the time that I record them. And so I think that's definitely gonna help. But let's get that all out the way because let's go ahead and jump in today's episode. And like I said, the two-part anniversary series will also come out this week. Looking to release the videos, I think, today, Wednesday, and Friday. But we'll just have to see what happens. Also, just a quick PSA because I feel like a lot of people haven't realized this yet. But when we got the announcement for the custom card... One of the biggest complaints is that people wanted to be able to animate or frame break cards at the base gray border. And well, you can. Let me move myself out the way real quick. But if you notice this hood, you know, it's inked out. It's at the base border, nothing going on, plain boring. But if you look at this one, it's frame break, it's animated, it's got everything going on. So yeah, you can totally do it right now and I'll, I'll show you how to do it. So if you take this sunspot here, right? Nothing going on, it's at the base border. You come up here to your custom card, go to the edit tab, pick the pick the variant that you want. Then you're gonna come over here, you're gonna click the common border, and then you know whatever effects you want. Save it. And then that card is at the base border with the frame break and the animation. Pretty sweet. Now it doesn't have to be an inked card. Just for clarification, you edit this. We'll pick a different variant. We'll pick this sunspot variant common border, whatever. I don't have any good animation for this one. Save it. And then look, see, it's at the base border, but it is frame breaked and animated. So yeah, for those that didn't realize that or don't, you know, pay attention, it's in there. So that's pretty sweet. Okay, let's jump into today's video. All right, gang, it is time for our 17th Shining Hunting episode. And if you are new to the channel or new to these episodes, basically we're just taking a bunch of really awesome cards and going for some really cool and rare splits on them. Now we've got a jam packed episode today. We are splitting 12 cards. We have eight mystery variants to open and 24 new variants that I have picked up since the last episode. So we've got a lot of cover, but if I can draw your attention to today's lineup that we're gonna be splitting, we got 12 cards, some really awesome variants but to do things a little bit differently usually i say as i split each card what split it's on like it's fourth or it's fifth saying it can only go for an ink or a gold and so on but if it has the gray or silver icon that is dictating it is on its fourth split meaning it can only get an ink split maybe right if your luck's good and then if it has the yellow or golden icon that is meaning it is on its fifth split that is only eligible for an ink or a gold split and then if it has nothing it's on at least its sixth split and it can get anything the ink gold crackle flare or what we're looking for a combination of the two so with that out of the way let's get into the best part the splitting so it should come as no surprise today that sunspot yes sunspot is kicking off the video. I think Sunspot has been in more Shining Hunting episodes than any other card <laughs> that I possess. Is today going to be the day? Can we finally put Sunspot to rest and move on? I'm tired of spending, you know, credits and boosters on this guy. Can we start today's video off strong? All right, I got my fingers crossed. We're going for it, all right? Oh, fine. <laughs> finally, we got the golden background and we got, you know, the black little stardust in the bag. That's looking pretty good. I think that's a good combination. Oh, I'm 
it's about dang time y'all i know that y'all been around for a while y'all have seen this guy probably more than half of my episodes i mean it's oh thank god thank god all right moving on to we got the really awesome nebula i believe this was the spotlight variant uh, you can correct me if i'm wrong but i believe that's what this is let's see if we can get a good split here all right you know we're just gonna have to come back just a you know regular old you know boo but it's fine can't win them all now we did pick up this pantheon variant of nova i have not split nova in a while i do have the ink venomized variant that i love but when i saw this one come out it was an instant buy love to have a good split on this one i mean heck just the base looks great but we can make it better Ooh, we got an ink you know nova now we got a gold that's gonna look really good when we bring it up to the golden border later in the episode okay we're you know we're two for three not too bad i'm liking that one a lot yeah all right so i am currently working on getting an ink and a gold version of my destroy deck i love destroy the most this is my favorite archetype in the game sometimes it's great sometimes it's bad right now it's really hot Let's see if we can get an ink on this X-23 here. All right, we're just gonna have to keep splitting it. I love this variant anyways, but uh, I think gold's probably gonna be a really good look for, for this Venomized variant here. All right, in the last episode, we did end up splitting this Fantasy Angela twice. Once we got the ink version, which is this one right, chill. And I'm on the wrong one. All right. So we're looking for that God split. You know, if I'm going to drop the amount of tokens that you have to spend on these ultimate variants, you can't just have a regular old decent split. You got to get the God split. So let's see if we can make that happen. All right. You know, another dud. It's all right. We got plenty of Angela boosters, you know, from when she was in her prime. She's fallen off quite a bit. Boy, I really hate when it rearranges all my cards. It, it messes me up. Look, I got two Nebulas and four four Novas. Can we can we fix this second dinner? My goodness, let me back out and come back. I'm just, it's got me all messed up. All right, we got Jeff, the adorable Jeff. We did get the green crackle flare previously, but we want a God split. We want an ink and a gold something and not this ugly puke green crackle flare. Anything but that, come on. You know, that's fine. We we also got plenty of Jeff boosters. Believe me, my goodness. I can't, you know, the fantasy variants, they just, I'm not proud of it, guys. You know, I'm not proud of it, but I couldn't pass on it. It's just too good. I'm sorry. All right, it's, it's time. Maybe we get, uh, you know, we've been really good with the God splits every episode. I think the last three. Can we make it four? Four for four. Whoo! That is our second eked juggernaut. I'm definitely gonna have to bring this one up because it's just looking like a black blob right now. We're gonna we're gonna bring it up. Which with the new changes coming, where we're gonna be able to select our borders, I'm not too worried about you know going past gray, breaking my golden rule of not touching my inked cards, leaving them at the base. Not worried about it anymore. So we're gonna we're gonna bring it up a little bit because. I mean, that's uh, hmm, kind of hard to see, but I am excited to see what it's going to look like. All right, we're going for Loki again. You know, maybe this will be our God split of the episode. Let's see. No, but it is another ink with a little bit of purple. It's going to look good. I guess we're bringing this up too. You know, like I said, not scared to touch my ink cards anymore. All right, I'm liking that one a lot. And the cool thing, as I have mentioned before, Loki, with cards like Loki, if you have an ink or a gold or whatever, all the cards that you generate take on its effect. So, you know, he'll generate a bunch of inked cards for me. All right. I'm really not proud of it. I'm really not. But I just, you know... Look at it. I'm not... I'm not justifying it, but I have it. I'm not justifying it. This card at some point will have a God split. Maybe today. And we can not put him in any more episodes and I don't have to feel embarrassed or shamed. All right, let's make it happen. 
Well, no crackle flare, no god split. But we did get, I believe, our first golden background Iron Man. It's just, it's just a good variant. I'm sorry. It's a good variant. Now, we do have this null here. I really love this one. I also picked up this one. You know, they got, got a lot of good variants, right? But this is the one I've settled on. This is the one I want to get a good split on. So let's see if we can get that ink on our null. Right, y'all. Okay, we're just going to have to keep splitting. You know, the null and the X-23. Some of the last cards I need to finish off my ink and gold full destroy decks. I really liked this Doom variant when it came out. I, I, I just, I think it looks pretty good. You know, but we might be able to make it look a little better, as always. You know, or or not, or not. We're just going to have to come back to it. That's fine. And then our last card that we're splitting is this amazing Venomize Thanos. I think I like it so much because of the Infinity Gauntlet. I don't know. It's probably my favorite variant of Thanos. I think gold would look really good on him. You know, that way all, all my stones are gold, you know. Let's see if we can make it happen. All right, so we're not ending the video strong, but we did do pretty well. We will come back and recap. I will upgrade all of our cards that got a good split. That way we get to check them out in their full glory. But now it's time to open some mystery variants. Eight to be exact. All right, so let's start with the one from the Twitch drop. Okay, you know, I had to watch a lot of Twitch to get this. Let's see if it was worth it. It might be. Probably won't be, but it might be. Let's find out. You know, I'm not going to complain. Dan Hips. It's hard to complain when you get a Dan Hip. I have gotten so many Dan Hips, but, you know, Dan Hips got a lot of variants. I'll take it. I like it. Now let's go ahead and grab the one from the season rewards. Not a pixel. It's okay. You can't, you know, like I said, all the time, you can't win them all. I'm running out of collector variants to collect. No pun intended. All right, let's go ahead and jump over to Conquest and grab our two variants out of there. I hold off all month for you guys, you know, trying to have this content. All right, first one. Okay, another Dan hit. Like I said, I like this one a lot. I like this Apocalypse variant. All right, premium. It can't be a dud. I almost picked this one up out of the store because I just, you know, I'm playing a little bit of Super Scroll lately. I'm happy. I didn't I didn't have to spend gold on this. I like this one. I like chibis. I'm sorry. I know some people don't. I do. And then finally, we will go to our uh, season reward and we have four to get out of here. So let's go ahead. Is that the first one or did I skip one? Okay, I think this is the first one. Let's see. No pixels, no whammies. Okay, solid blade variant. See this one all the time. Moving on to number two from the track. Again with the Dan Hips. I said it was just so many Dan Hips lately. Okay, I like this one as well. We've got the premium mystery variant. Do we have one more regular? Yeah, let's do that one last. All right, number three. Solid, solid America Chavez. I like that one a lot. Been in the game for a while. All right, last one. Premium Mystery Variant. You know, all the Midnight Suns are pretty good. A card I don't really play, but that's okay. Because one day, you know, he's going to be in the meta. All right, so now let's take a look at all the variants that I have picked up since the last episode. We've actually got two full decks, 24 cards to look at. So starting with Nebula that was in today's episode, I really like this variant. We're going to get a good split, though. It didn't happen today, but, you know, we're going to make it happen. Hands down, the best Black Knight variant in the game, which, I mean, there's not a ton. There's a, I think the Max Grek one is pretty good, but this is the best one. Took me, you know, four spotlight caches. You know, it kind of seems to be my luck. I always got to spend four, but, you know. Now, I've been waiting on this since, like, forever. I think it's only ever been in my store the one time. Best Shadow King variant, hands down, I think. I know some people are going to disagree, but I was super happy when this one came around. I love this Kim variant of Sauron. I, you know, I play a lot of Shuri. 
love this one it's a great one we did pick up the dan hip jubilee again we have another spotlight variant which is the the comic book saw ones that they're doing now really like this one for high evolutionary another dan hip like i said lots of dan hips lately i wish omega red was a little bit better so i could play this card i really like this variant the venomized variant is also pretty good now we did get the ink pulp iron lad I'm gonna be probably splitting this one in a later video again another kim got the sentry i had to pick this one up out of the store i love this one i've been playing a lot of sentry as well we did get this one i think out of a mystery variant at some point or as a reward i did not buy it but was super happy when i got it I mean, you know we got a pixel doom you know it happens you know i don't plan on ever leveling this up too many other good doom variants to use my boosters on but hey again like i said i'm a huge fan of kim i had to grab this uh, you know onslaught variant i really like this one i just uh you know i i gotta play onslaught a little bit more my my living tribunal skills aren't that good you know i haven't been playing it a ton but i would like to get a nice split on this card someday as well so let's go ahead and jump into the second deck of variants now again the pantheon variant of nova that we got today also got a pretty good split on if i must say so myself been waiting for this one to come back around had to grab it y'all know anything with destroy or art germ or whatever it's a combination of both here had to pick it up solid variant we did get a dan hip collector variant what can i say dan hips just everywhere we got the baby variant of dr strange i did not buy this mm, eh. now with quake's popularity and just how good she's kind of been I, I needed i needed a variant i need some boosters too i don't even have enough boosters to split quake one time but i, I had to get a i had to get a variant right i love max Greg. uh y'all know this i love max Greg. i had to pick this up maybe one day i'll be able to like play this card you know on a regular basis but for now i at least have it i couldn't pass we did get this variant of Mr. Negative. Again, it wasn't one I bought with gold. It's just one I got as a reward. I did buy this one with gold. Uh, I think this is an epic, maybe the best, maybe better than the well award Miles Morales Spider-Man. I, I just, we're going to be splitting this one next episode. It's going to happen. Now, I needed a variant for Doc Ock, so I did pick this one up. We got the Dan Hip. No, I did buy this one. And then I got the Peach version. You know, it, it, it happens like that sometimes. But I like this one too. Maybe we'll get a good split on it one day once we're done with the Peach version. But we're, we, we have this one too. When I bought the Nova Pantheon, I just had to buy this leader to go with it because it was right next to him. And, you know, leaders, pro, you know, days of being in the spotlight are not, you know, they're gone for now. He'll come back though. And when, and when he does... I've got this really cool variant to play. And then I, I yeah, I bought this one. I like chibis and I, I needed an orca variant. Sorry. You know, I like it. I, you know, what can I say? I like it. So let's go ahead and recap today's episode and look at some of the cool splits that we got. So we are just a little bit shy of going 50% in rare splits for today's episode. We went five for 12. Still can't complain about that. So let's go ahead and look at the sunspot that we got. It's about time. I'm, I'm, just, I'm so tired of splitting sunspot i mean my goodness but you know we got there i'm happy with this i've got just about every kind i've got an ink a gold crackle flare on all of my sunspot variants we're finally done with sunspot for a while i think so i'm happy with this now nebula's starting to become the new sunspot she's been in a lot of episodes recently and still nothing happened but we're, we're gonna get there so we had the dud on her and now I mean, I didn't go, I usually do the gold border on the gold backgrounds, but I started with the purple. I think the purple looks great here with the, you know, the purple Nova. He's got some purple. I'm really digging this split here. I love the, the variant in general. Now we got us a nice little split. We got the dud on X23. That's okay because I really do want to get a gold, you know, background for this one. We had another dud on Angela. That's all right. We're going for that God split. It may take us a little while jeff you know what can you say we'll get there now look it looks way better now that it's got the frame break in the animation this looks sick it's a it's a good variant like i said i'm not justifying it but it is a great variant I'm glad we brought it up a little bit now we did have the ink on loki i didn't touch this one one i'm a little short on boosters 
and yeah i kind of like the way this one looks but i probably will eventually split it a little bit more maybe bring it to that animated border but for now kind of digging the clean common border look we did get the golden background on this you know well award i hear i guess you'd call it looking good looking great nice and clean and then we did have the dud on the rest of the cars the dud on the null the dr doom and unfortunately the thanos as well but as always there's gonna be another episode we're gonna get there we're gonna just every time i don't get the split it just means the god splits coming down the road and we definitely can't end the video without checking out some of the amazing viewer submissions that we got for today's episode i've definitely been enjoying seeing all of y'all split so much so definitely keep them coming in this first one is sent to us by jdeg or jdeg they sent me two of cards that you don't usually get to see a very good split of first one coming from this man thing i really really think this is a sick looking split here the the variant itself is great but you don't get to see a whole lot of ink gold much less a god split man thing this one looks amazing really really loving it i always am a huge fan for gold with the purple crackle flare and then they sent us another amazing one another card you probably don't see split that often that is the ink pulp mojo and he's got another guy split here he's got the ink with the gold crackle flare rocking the gold border just another just another amazing split like i said i like seeing kind of these rare cards that you don't get to see split a whole lot now moving on we got our good boy cosmo now i have my own god split but it is the inked with the rainbow crackle flare but this one was sent in by leroy jensen just another nice looking gold with the purple crackle flare this is my actual favorite cosmo variant been in the game since i think it was released but yeah this one this one looks good I, I really like this submission as well now moving on we have three sent in from past the woody tugging at my hearts here with the deadpool y'all know i love destroy we've got the gold with the gold crackle flare this one looks so good the venomized deadpool this is such a good variant now i think my favorite is the post-apocalyptic variant of deadpool but this one's amazing too i really like this one they also sent in this amazing thanos we've got the gold with the very very rare black kirby crackle supposedly it's the rarest i don't know why but that's just what i'm told but yeah they got it going on here definitely looks good the gold helps the black crackle flare definitely stand out it's usually the hardest of any of them to see looking good and then their last one they do have the conqueror variant of carnage looking good here i also have this inked but i do not have the crackle flare to go alongside it now next up we have none other than richie who is always telling me about their amazing splits they've got several submitted for today's episode coming in first with this golden peach momoko variant of the psylocke this is my favorite psylocke variant in the game and this definitely looks good you're making me jealous but don't worry because we got another amazing psylocke by them to look at but first we've got the jane foster gold on gold I'm just going to have to make Richie start doing these episodes because he obviously has way better luck with splitting than I do. His luck's just are putting me to shame. And again, if you like Jane Foster, don't worry. We got a second one of that as well. But yeah, so here is the other Psylocke. Another good variant. Another God split. I mean, what what are you doing, man? You just I'm just going to have to give, give the channel over to you. And then again, we have another Jane Foster looking great here as well. Now, these next three were sent in by Sven. I don't know if I'm saying that right. S-V-E-N. And they're first coming in hot with this inked Midnight Suns variant of Iron Man with the purple crackle flare. Definitely like this one. And then they also have the Venomized Armor. Now, y'all know I like all the Destroy cards, Nullified variants, Venomized variants. So I definitely like this one. But the red armor with the red crackle flare and then up against that golden border yeah i think of the three that they sent this is just my favorite it looks so good and then if you didn't have enough cosmo from earlier well here's another version but instead of the purple crackle flare they've got the baby blue this is another just amazing looking cosmo car like i said this is my favorite variant of cosmo in the game so definitely thank you for sending those in and then our last viewer submission tim starting us off hot we got four to look at from him 
Hitting us with the Art Germ Killmonger. Now, I love Art Germ. I, the Art Germ Carnage that I have is probably my favorite card in the game, but this Killmonger, we got the gold, we got the Rainbow Crackle Flare. This is such a good variant just on its own, but my gosh. I mean, just blowing up all them Infinity Stones, all them one drops, and just doing it being, being all sexy, you know? Now, speaking of sexy, we got another destroy car. See, Tim knows. Tim knows how to get me. You just throw in them destroy cars. So we have the ultimate variant of Venom. I also have a golden background of this card, but I don't have the blue, the blue crackle flare to go with it. This looks good. I love this card. I, I want to get an ink version of this card as well. Next up, they sent us an all blacked out rock slide. It's got the ink, but if you notice, we also have the black crackle flare. That's the way to go. You just want to be all blacked out here. Looking good, looking good. And then ultimately, my goodness, we've got the ink nullified variant of Miles Morales with the gold crackle flare. I don't know. I don't know which one's my favorite. These are hard. These are all amazing, Tim. I'm I'm kind of jealous here. But yeah, these are these are great. Now, if you would like to submit your own for the next episode, I will put my link down to my Twitter down below. I'm actually going to skip episode 18 because that's only going to release in like a week or so from now. So it really wouldn't give you much time to get those in and me get them edited in. So we'll go ahead and stick around for episode 19 for the viewer submissions. But I'll put a tag on my Twitter just saying, hey, if you want to submit, this is for, you know, episode 19. And you just drop them down there and I'll be more than happy to feature them in the episode thank y'all again to everyone that submitted them in today's episode i love seeing these i love showing them off so definitely keep them coming but as always gang y'all be good y'all be safe i will catch you on the next episode if you've stuck around this long and you're not subscribed what the heck you obviously like the video do me a favor go down there click the subscribe button you're not going to miss the next two episodes the celebration and while you're down there you can click the like button help promote the video and the channel. I'd greatly appreciate it. But anyways, I will see y'all in the next episode, which will be very shortly. I think a day from now, like let's say Wednesday. I'll see you then.